As has already been said, the project that we were working on together was advanced maintenance. Uh, hello, I'm Miguel Angel de la Fuerte. I work in ABB. And we're one of these uh, large companies that have joined the first year of Bind 4.0. And we have also decided to carry on for the second year of this. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the experience that we've had with Innovai. I want to tell you a little bit about the project that we worked on last year. The aims of that project, the project was to find a data updating system that would help us improve the service that we offer to our customers from a maintenance viewpoint. I think Miguel Angel will explain the details of it, but I wanted to explain to you what happened as a company when we approached this possibility. What we wanted was a pilot experience that we could then apply to other units. We decided to trial it in the robotics department because that was the unit where we were probably going to have a better uh, possibilities of using advanced visualization systems. But after this experience, we were going to see if it could be uh, broadened to other ABB business units. And in fact, we're still talking to Innovay and we're looking at what can be done. In fact, where we've applied to this together with Innovay, we've applied it to our roboticized cells. They're ones that we manufacture here in Spain. And what we do is we want these visualizations so that we and our customers can see the data that necessarily tell us about the maintenance that needs to be carried out. To meet the objectives that were set out in the project, which was to improve maintenance efficiency, the possibility of visualizing data in real time generated by robots, we used a solution that actually we already had in house and that was easily to could easily be readapted to cover ABB's needs. This solution, there are two sides to it. The first is a cloud, a cloud where user information is stored. In this case, it's maintenance technicians. It's a cloud that also has uh, contents, the work plans for the different uh, service technicians. And it's also linked to the ABB Ability Cloud, which gives information about all the robotic cells that are actually operating at that time. You can access the cloud via administration backend, which helps those in charge of maintenance to make sure that everything's working for the technicians. What they can do is they can give different attributes of visibility to uh, users. Basically, what they do is they handle all the content. So in the first stage of the project, we were working for the tablets so that it could be used on a tablet, so that all um, maintenance technicians could use a tablet for their work. And the first thing that we looked at was trying to make information access easy, easily accessed, because a technology system can be difficult to adapt. So what we thought was, OK, what we thought is that once you turn the camera on and just you focus on a QR code or a robot series number or through some kind of GPS positioning system of the road, we should be able to know what the set of tasks or what sort of user manuals or maintenance data are linked to that robot because that's what a technician does. They focus on something that's uh, known and then they access information. The second part was task management. It's important when a technician standing in front of a robot that they're not or rather that they have easy access to the knowledge that will help them do what they have to do. So once you've got that information, you need to be able to see step by step what tasks need to be carried out. So on the left, you see the list of tasks, what we call a workflow, and on the right, you can see each of these tasks and access to the linked information. If there are any doubts about the task, you can look at a video, a reference video, or some kind of a, a operational manual. 
And then this can be traced from the server. So the server can uh, see how the maintenance or predictive uh, maintenance process went. So this is how the different steps are organized. Here, the system manager can uh, designate different days for maintenance. Here, you can see the different color codes for those tasks that are being carried out and those that have created an incident. At the end of the day, it's uh, um, database of different functionalities that can be then visualized. So this is a function that we've included. Which, if you need to carry out a preventive maintenance, if the technician doesn't know how to do so or doesn't have any access to the uh, database, the visual database, because it isn't there, you can actually connect uh, in real time via video conference with an expert. The expert can see what's happening on the robot via the tablet that the technician has. But not only that, he can sort of uh, draw on the connectors or the screws or the differential that needs restarting on the screen so the technician actually knows what part they should be fiddling with. And so this is actually even better than having a telephone because you can see things. An interesting function of this system of augmented reality vision is the fact that it automatically translates languages. There's a chat in the machine, so you can write in the machine in any language, and the other person will receive that in their language. It's automatic translation. So if you've got to provide uh, technical support to the uh, factory you've got in Romania and they can't speak English, then you can do it by this. And there's the data visualization part. This platform uh, hub is like a digital clone. We call these digital clones because they allow you to see a digital mock-up that covers the real model, which is interactive, and you can zoom in on it, you can turn it, you can look at the different parts of the cell, and you can see the information that's uh, the robot's generating in real time. One of the features that we're going to integrate in the future is as follows. The idea that the predictive maintenance generated based on the analysis of data and ABB liability can be linked directly to the platform so that when big data intelligence predicts that maintenance needs to be done, and there is a work plan in the platform that is automatically uploaded for the user to see. The outcomes of the project are described here. We are in the final implementation stage. If I'm not mistaken, the reactions have been very positive. Yes, very much so. We want to continue working with you in other business areas and service areas. When I've talked about this uh, project with the uh, technicians from my Transformers unit, they see it almost as a dream to be able to very swiftly and quickly identify the machine they're going to work with to receive uh, maintenance instructions and uh, they describe this as very, very um, useful and the uh, translation feature is also very interesting because sometimes they need to talk with uh, uh, technicians from other countries so they believe that it's very, very interesting. And there are other aspects that are very interesting, and so they welcome this project and believe that it would be very interesting to continue working on this. One of the projects we're going to work with is to use the HoloLens uh, glasses for maintenance purposes, and simultaneous automatic translation is used, but not by a text, but uh, we process the voice, uh, uh, and uh, basically the voice is processed and a subtitle is written, so there would be no need to write. This is part of a project that we began some months ago, and maybe in the future we can introduce this technology and enable this feature in the platform. 
And we've also el, seen el, that este software, the possibility of applying the software, the SAAM, for production purposes, because the task organization part that is used for maintenance can also apply to the organization of the production of cells. So we are applying a modified version of the task organizer to production. And we will also collaborate with other business units. And this experience, as you can see, has been extremely interesting for us. And at this point, I'd like to do some advertising. This project has been uh, important for us because it has helped us uh, launch a new project called SAAM, same name as the project is standardized. It implements the same functionalities with the exemption of the robot visualization. But the remaining features are standardized and it's packaged. So this project has been very, very important because it has helped us discover those features that may have a general purpose that can help us solve a main problem. And we have a package to solve this solution. I'd like to finish by telling you what our experience has been working with startups and why a company like ABB Worldwide with muy potentes, more than 150,000 employees have decided to work with local companies, with small companies, with limited workforce, and, and with a very small seniority. We're talking about very recent companies for us. This experience has been very, very positive. In local business areas, we had no experience whatsoever working with startups. This um, Bind 4.0 program encourages us to work with startups and the experience has been so positive that we're willing to go for wave two, to work with two additional startups, and we will begin working with them in the upcoming months. We're a big corporation present worldwide in the field of energy and industry. And the fact that we are able to work with startups allows us to find areas in which we aren't experts or that are not part of our business core, but that can contribute and uh, top up our business. Uh, and we can do so very fast because a structure such as us of course, it works on global projects, and when working with startups, we're able to implement things very fast. And now in this project, we've seen that in only one year time, we've been able to get this up and running. And uh, there's another project with Irisbon that is also very interesting. And uh, the risk that we assume is though the budget is uh, relatively small, we can test uh, new technologies and see whether those new technologies complement our products and services and marry well with them. It can help us um, well penetrate the market. And of course, when we go to the market with our products, we always want to provide added value to customers. And so we want our technicians to do maintenance in a more effective and efficient manner, faster, with more functionalities. And we want to offer this to our customers as well, so that they know how to do the maintenance of our equipment in a simple manner and a professional manner. And uh, we talk about maintenance. If we simplify maintenance a great deal, we will lose a, a service potential. That's something that's an argument that some people are raising. But uh, we, as major corporations, uh, believe that this is an important way forward. And I'd like to finish by mentioning uh, another uh, val highly valuable aspect of this project, which is the fact that we've been able to learn how startups work, and startups have learned from us, and we have learned from them, we've learned their strengths and weaknesses, you've learned how slow we are, and we've learned how fast you are, and speed provides us with a, a, a very uh, versatile and agile way of working. Uh, major corporations are often very, very slow in implementing projects, and I believe that uh, combining these two worlds, your speed and uh, our um, Peace of mind helps us in work in um, successful projects, and I hope that we can continue uh, collaborating in the future and start up uh, projects. And what characterizes Bind 4.0 is the fact that it's not a joint development program. We're talking about contracts or agreements. We've signed a contract with Innovai. It's also been an experience.
experience that I deemed very interesting, and they've provided us with an end product. This isn't always the case with innovation projects. projects sorry. Thanks to Bind 4.0, we've understood that from the point of view of startup, we, as startups, can provide value to uh, big companies with uh, innovative technologies and fresh air, and a company like ABB can also benefit from a startup. And uh, the startup phenomenon is sometimes the path that needs to be followed in order to generate innovation in an agile fashion. So that's uh, one of the key takeaways from our participation. Oh, and that's it on our side. Thank you.